But can you see? I'm not sure if the camera picks this up, but once I press it, it, it gets dark and tinted so no one can look in. And then when I swipe it again, it goes clear. So let me just try it a couple of times to show you the difference. Yeah. Um, let's have a cl closer look. The settings. Let's play around with it. Press some random stuff, see what we have available. Um, menu, let's see. I think there should be some apps there. Okay, okay. Climate control, back and so. Interior lighting, let's see what colors we have available. So let me try pink. As you can see here. Um, yeah, quite a few different colors you can pick from. Electrify blue. Okay, let me see what else we have here. Let me turn off the sound. But what do we have here? Massage. Okay. On. Ah, oh, nice. I can actually feel the air right now. I needed that. I've got back pain from deadlifting. Oh, oh this is actually beautiful. I could do this for a while. <laughs> Especially the lower lumbar. That's exactly what I needed. Saves me getting a sports massage, I guess. Uh, let me set off. Okay, so it's me from getting a painful sports massage. This is what I mean, literally one hand steering. On the whoa, 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 whoa. This is probably from Storm Eunice. For those who have been that are not familiar, the viewers from that, that are not from the UK, we've had a very strong windy condition here in the UK. We had like a red warning storm. So that tree has uprooted that whole part, the front garden, wow. Ah, I feel sorry for them. Ah, that is tragic. Can I make it? Hopefully I won't curb the alloys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very accurate. Surprisingly enough, for such a heavy car, it feels uh, very lightweight. It's almost a, a setback, I can steer it with a single finger. Uh, I'm not gonna give it a go, but uh, yeah. That's how light it feels, even though it weighs like two and a half ton. That's the first thing I notice. Smooth handling. I also like the riding position, you sit nice and tall. Massive front windshield. Okay. 
look at that instant <laughs> and this is the ix40 so it's not even the the fastest one um i think i believe this one does not to 60 in 6.1 seconds Yeah, you can see in the head up display out front how quick it is. Uh, lots of side tech in here. Technology that's not, you know, instantly available. Uh, but once you click on it, you see more. Uh, let me try and see if, the, if this one has the. It's 50. Let's go. Okay, slowing down. Sorry, yeah, I went slightly over. <laughs> he thinks I'm raising him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will take on the RD86, but yeah, I don't want to exceed the speed limit. Trying my utmost to not do that. Uh, but yeah, maybe if there's a red light, we can do a uh, acceleration test. Just say one thing people don't pay attention to uh, SUVs when you want to switch lanes You think there's gonna be a lag or de delay in the acceleration, but it's instant. So you need to bear that in mind uh, I think that'll take some people especially people that are used to ice cars uh, taking some time to get used to That's some nice dual carriageways Hey BMW Sorry, I didn't hear that properly. Oh, hey BMW, turn on, uh, make the panoramic roof clear. I will set high transparency for the sunroof. Oh wow, yeah, it's actually done. I will show you later when I pull up. But uh, the panoramic roof on this car is not actually covered, so it has two modes. It has um, transparent mode and a uh, tinted mode but yeah with a voice control I managed to change that and you can change lots of other things such as uh, the heated uh, seats and so forth <laughs> instantly throwing me back, my head back to <laughs> the headrest well, just with this slight touch of the um, accelerator yeah the throttle response is incredible to say the least okay um, I am on comfort mode I think let me come off oh yeah uh, and I've made a longer tutorial on this vehicle detailing the interior exterior the infotainment system and so forth I'll link that to in the video description and you can catch it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow okay that's not much body roll I expected it. <laughs> such a heavy car to have a body roll around the roundabout right there but there was literally none I was comfortable in my position the seats were still hugging me and uh, yeah, it, I'm sure if I had a drink there, it wouldn't spill. And I'm coming up here. 50 miles again, let me slow down and then accelerate to 50. Okay, let me try some acceleration. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, incredible, incredible, incredible. Okay, so we have the media. Uh, so you can actually play your music and see your radio news and so forth at the front with the head-up display That's not something I was aware of So you control it from there and you also have gesture control to control the volume with your fingers like that As you can see Next slow down as well yeah. Volume up and down Just with the flick of your wrist Lots of settings, car settings Another thing you can do with this car as well is once you have the mobile app um, you are able to control everything from the charging uh, you get a full overview of your charging so you can set a X charging test, uh, target of perhaps 80% uh, 
and you can monitor that and it will tell you how long it will take you to get to the to side charging range um, you can also unplug the charging from your phone uh, unlock the car with your phone as well so yeah beautifully integrated what's sick this is the most technologically advanced BMW um, <laughs> struggling to talk when I accelerate <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I am impressed. Hey, BMW. Take me to BMW, Stephen James. I found several destinations. The first one. Okay, that's a double click. Yeah, maybe. A bit of a start read guidance, yep. Okay, so I was swerving a bit to the left and it was pushing me back on the lane, uh, on the correct lane on the right side. Uh, loving the crystal clear heads up display. And as with most all the electric cars, as soon as I step off, it starts to break to recoup uh, any electricity from the braking. Beautiful steering wheel, hexagonal st steering wheel. I guess it's, this was inspired from BMW racing. They used to have it like that, flat bottom steering wheel. Oh, slowing down to okay, a lot. Lots of construction work. I could actually see myself having this car as a long term car, especially if I was a family person. Um, so, yeah, to give you perspective of the dimensions of the car, uh, the footprint is the size of a BMW X5. The height is the same of size of the BMW X6 uh, and the alloy wheels are the same size of the BMW X7. Uh, so yeah, just to give you some more perspective. Uh, I like the welcome lights as well on the BMW. Orchestrated welcome lights on the, as you saw earlier when I unlocked the car. It's been a smooth drive. I love the suspension of this vehicle. That's not something I say very often about. Oh, whoa! Oh, what's this? Okay, augmented reality. Interesting. Okay, that is incredible. First time seeing this. <laughs> we have literally this. If you get lost in a BMW ISX, yeah, you need to. I don't know, take some lessons or what not. Oh shit, I think I'm getting lost now. Ah, I suppose turn left. Ah, time, talk about timing. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think I'm correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have navigation in front of us, on the left side, and in front of us. So three different maps. If you get lost, yeah, uh, I don't think you could, but <laughs> it cannot be helped. Um, let's have a look what else we have here. Calendar, traffic route, car settings. Oh, yeah, no, I'm on the right path. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm on definitely on the right path now. Let me pull over somewhere just to show you the panoramic roof. If I can find a place to pull up that is. Should be a side road somewhere. Yeah. Uh, private residential. Mm. 
Okay, let me just keep going. So let's check the speed bump. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I went over incorrectly on purpose. The two wheels just to see how it would handle. Uh, it wasn't too bad to be honest. Okay, it looks like some parkings available here. This, no, okay, I'm gonna block traffic there. Um, okay, I'll go over there. Put over over there. Yeah, right behind here on the left. I just wanted to. Don't even know where I am. Hopefully. I'll oh, no, actually keep it on. I'm gonna demonstrate the. So I think it's one of these buttons here. You can actually do it manually. Oh, I did it on the other one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the reading light. Oh, this one, sorry. Okay, you see, I'm not sure if the camera picks this up, but once I press it, it, it gets darker and tinted so no one can look in. And then when I swipe it again, it goes clear, so let me just try a couple of times to show you the difference. Yeah, um, let's have a cl closer look. The settings, so I can play around with it, press some random stuff, see what we have available. Um, menu, let's see, I think there should be some apps there. Okay, okay, climate control, back and so. Interior lighting, let's see what colors we have available. So let me try pink. As you can see here. Um, yeah, quite a few different colors you can pick from. Let's try find blue. Okay, let me see what else we have here. Let me turn off the sound. Seat comfort. What do we have here? Massage. Okay. On. Ah, oh, nice. I can actually feel the air right now. I needed that. I've got back pain from deadlifting. Oh, oh this is actually beautiful. I could do this for a while, <laughs> especially the lower lumbar. That's exactly what I needed. Saves me getting a sports massage, I guess. Uh, let me set off. Okay, it saves me from getting a painful sports massage. This is what I mean. Literally, one hand steering. On the whoa, 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 whoa! This is probably from Storm Units. For those who've been that are not familiar, the view from that that are not from the UK. We've had a very strong windy condition here in the UK. We had like a red warning storm. So that tree has uprooted that whole part, the front garden, wow. Ah, I feel sorry for them. Ah, that is tragic. Can I make it? Hopefully I won't curb the alloys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very accurate. get my navigation back on this augmented reality is incredible wow 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 i don't think when I was, well maybe it's a feature of the tesla but i didn't see this when i was just driving the tesla but beautiful i think this yeah i know google are playing around with augmented reality but i'm sure bmw probably has some sort of deal with them or something but this is incredible literally This is the future right here. When BMW said this is the most technologically advanced car ever, this is, they're not joking. I'm getting a massage right now, being guided by augmented reality, sitting up high like a king. <laughs> that sounds a bit cringe, but yeah. Um, and yeah, this car can give you over 600 kilometers of range 
on a full charge. Uh, I think that translates to around 257 miles of range. I'll list the full spec sheet after, but, and I'll link the other vehicles as well that I've done to give you a better comparison. What an incredible car. I enjoy driving this car. And as I said, literally one hand steering is enough for this car. You wouldn't think that of such a heavy vehicle, but then again, BMW used all kinds of lightweight material in this car. They used carbon fiber uh, to slim down the weight. Still a heavy car with all that carbon fiber, which is literally present all over the car. But nonetheless, the steering the turn radius is very small, steering is lightweight, smooth handling. Could probably make a better, could make a three point turn easier with this car than I guess with saying hatchbacks. I don't, I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that. That's how easy it is to drive this car. But, oh, I'm turning right, what's he doing? He's blocking my. What is it? Oh, it's just stopping in the middle of the road. It's a bit of a... Thank you all for watching this review. And as usual, I will take your questions in the comment box below. Thank you.